Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you uh, how to download, install, set up. It's basically a complete admin guide to Player Warps. This is a pretty cool plugin that we actually personally use on Breakdown Craft. Play.breakdowncraft.com is our server and it is a great plugin that allows people to create Player Warps that would disappear after 30 days or whatever time you set in the config and basically allows people to let other players get to their areas without having to worry about things like griefing and things like that because it integrates with grief prevention which is what we use, but it also integrates with a skyblock and a bunch of other cool plot square. And as you can see, all of it is there. It even has world guard support as well. So really, really cool stuff and a very, very powerful plugin. Um, we use it, like I said, on Breakdown Craft. We're going to be going over all of it here in this video. First of all, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS picked in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great place to host your server, with uh, player warps on it, go ahead and check out Apex at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Before we download this plugin and install it on a local server to really get into like the configuration and things like that, I do want to show you what it looks like on the main like server here, Breakdown Craft. So we are on Breakdown Craft Medieval Survival, that's where we use this plugin, and if we do slash P warp, right like so, slash P warp there, and hit enter, this is all of our player warps. So as you can see, all of the player warps are in here and set up and, and looking pretty good. If we click on any of these, it'll just take us, right? So if you click on one, it takes it. You can make it do like a teleportation delay, like three seconds and things like that. That way people can confirm if they want to go. But basically for us, it's just instant, right? So boom, slash P warp. We can go to Venom's Keep as well. Boom, there we go. As you can see, here it is. It is all looking good. You can even do this one right here. Boom, here we are at yet another player warp, right? You can set how many player warps people have access to. For example, different rank levels on our server have different amounts of player warps, but you can also add player warps using the command that we'll show you a little later on. So that is kind of what it looks like in game to set a player warp, by the way. If I just go to, for example, like home home, we come here and I want to set a player warp. All I have to do is do like P warp set and then the name of the warp test, right? So for example, there you go. P warp set for player called test. Now if we do P warp, go to the last page or right there it is of the GUI, next games, click on that. Boom. It takes us to this P warp. We'll do it again because I hadn't moved. So boom, click on that. Takes us here to the player warp. Now if we want to remove that player warp. All we're going to do is do player warp remove and then the name of that player warp, right? So player warp remove test that will remove it. Now you can also do slash P warp test, right? So if you know the name of a warp, you don't have to use the GUI. So you can do P warp space test and boom takes us there. And then again, we can remove that warp with player warp, P warp, I should say, remove and then test. Boom. There we go. And the player warp has been removed. And now if we go to the GUI. It is gone. The slash P warp GUI, it is gone. And then if we do P warp test, doesn't work because that warp does not exist because we just deleted it. So yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and get this plugin downloaded. So to do that, click on the download now button. The player warps download page is linked in the description down below. When you click it, it will take you here. It's got everything you need to know. It's got all the commands listed. It's got permissions listed here. Um, for example, if you want to set like, for example, with a rank, like on Breakdown Craft, if you buy a rank on Breakdown Craft, you get a certain amount of player warps. You can set that using this permission, that pwarp.limit.number. Now, if you want to do like a million warps or basically unlimited warps you can use the asterisk the wild card there if you want people to be able to bypass the delay we don't have delay on breakdown craft but if you do have a delay you can bypass it using that permission if you want someone to be able to set a warp anywhere so for example if it uses plot square world guard a sky block grief prevention things like that this can be the permission to do that if admins you want basically allow somebody to delete other player warps you can do that allow people to reload the plugin there you go get notified when there's an update there you go and then add a warp to a player via command you can do that using this permission there. But overall, the only permissions you're going to need to set are the P warp number here, like P warp limit number. And then if you do want to do a delay bypass for players, you can do that. Things like being able to go to the player warp, things like being able to set player warps, remove player warps, all that stuff, they're automatically as long as they do have access to an amount of player warps there. So now let's go ahead and again download this. So we click the download now button there. This is for versions 1.8 all the way through 1.14.4. So you don't have to worry about version compatibility. It is compatible with all of them. And one of the things I will say here is that um, they are very, very quick at fixing bugs with pair warps if you join their Discord. So let's go ahead and launch on up the run server .bat here. It's going to launch everything on up and you'll see it generating here the config files for player warps. I'm going to go over those real quick before we jump in game and start going over all of the commands. I didn't want to go over all of the commands here in this video, even though all of them are covered in the uh, previous video as well. Now, one of the things I think this might be dependent on vault, and if it is, that is my bad. 
But um, actually, it looks like, uh, yeah, so it cannot find Vault. It is Vault dependent. So let me go ahead and download that real quick. Vault is in the description of this video as well. That way you can download it if you don't have Vault on your server. Most servers are going to have Vault on them. There we go. Finally got the correct link there, but are going to have Vault on them. But let's go ahead and download just the most recent version of Vault there and drop that in. And then we'll be able to launch on in. It's my bad. I forgot that this was dependent on Vault. There's some economy features that do need Vault to be able to work. So there we go, it's launching on up. And now that we have Vault, it will launch right on up perfectly. Don't know how that got in there. Apparently I dragged a Dropbox folder over there, but yeah, let's go ahead and let the server launch up and then we'll see you after a quick jump cut. There we go, Vault being added now allows us to start up and here are the player warp config files. If we go ahead and go into the config.yml here, I'm gonna open it up with my favorite text editor, also known as Adam. Once we get in here, we'll be able to really see that um, this is a very configurable plugin. I mean, there is a lot of different config options here. I mean, everything from being able to, you know, turn notify update on and off, which there's a plugin that we have that you can't do that. It's very annoying to even being able to change the main command. So if you want to be able to do, for example, instead of P warp, if you want it to say player warp, you can do that. It actually does have a slash PW as a command alias as well. Meaning, for example, if you wanted to just replace the warp command, you could add in warp as an alias here. So if someone did slash warp and then whatever the warp name was, it would take them to that warp. They could also do warp set, all of that stuff by adding in that command alias here. And I do want to say that if you're using like server warps, you want to make sure you create those server warps using this uh, plugin here instead of, you know, using essentials or something because that can cause some interference there if you do add warp there. But overall, that is an option and it's great that you can do that very quickly and easily. Now, sub commands. Do you want to describe the commands in the help menu? Do you want to list the commands? Yes or no? I would recommend always doing that. The open command Command. Basically, when you do slash p warp, do you want it to open the menu? I would recommend leaving that as well. Do you want the reload command to work, remove command to work, um, set command to work, teleport command to work, all of that stuff? It can be changed and moved, like enabled, disabled here. We do have SQL options here, so this can be helpful if you are, say, running a server that has multiple different servers linked to it. There are a few different servers out there that might have like three different servers all linked together, inventory and everything. If you want your player warps to work in that way and be able to like move you from server to server and all that stuff and have all that synced together, you can do that here using SQL. I won't be covering that in this video. If you do know, if you, and you have a server like that, you should know how to enable SQL and the exact same setup is here. However, it will download an auxiliary plugin when you do that. That is something worth noting. Now the purge is a cool feature that was added that I'm really, really behind. And basically that means, do you want player warps to be able to be deleted after a certain amount of days that a player has been offline? For example, if after 30 days, a player warp should be removed, go ahead and set that. And after 30 days, a player warp will be removed from a player. It will allow them to reset that player warp when they get back online, but it will be removed. And this can help keep the GUI more fresh and new and, and, and better with newer warps instead of all of the old ones being set there as well. Now the set basically configuration here is all the stuff that you need to know when setting a warp. For example, is there a max amount of characters a warp can be? By default, it's 10. I think that's a good number. You get up to 15. You get up to 10,000 or 1,000 if you wanted to, but I would recommend just leaving it probably at 10 or 15 at max. Blacklisted names. So this can be helpful. For example, you probably don't want someone saying slash p warp spawn. So you can come in here and you can add in spawn to where people can't do slash p warp spawn. Let's say you also wanted them to not be able to do slash p warp crates. There you go. You can add that in there. They can't set that. Now, economy. By default, you can you have to pay to go to a player warp, right? For example, by default, you have to pay $500 of in-game currency to go to a player warp. Now, I personally don't like that. It's not my thing. However, if it's on your server, you want to take a little more out of the economy. There's not a lot of stuff to spend money on, for example, something like that. You can go ahead and set that to, to whatever number you wanted. You could set it at 500 like it is by default. You could set it at 1,000. You could set it at 100,000 if you wanted to. But we're going to go ahead and set it to negative 1 because that means that's going to be disabled. Now, in here is what world should players not be able to set warps to. For example, the nether is there by default. You could also go ahead and do world end. You could change it to whatever you wanted. You could also remove this, right, and just leave it like there if you don't want like any worlds left out there. Also, I did just realize here that this is actually to set a warp, a price to pay to set a warp. Down here, it's gonna talk about, you know, taking money to teleport to a warp. If you wanna have players pay to set a warp, that's where you can set that price. Paying for a warp is down here. Moving on though to the teleport section, do you wanna check for unsafe blocks? Yes, you do, always leave that as true. How many blocks down should it check? One, two, three is usually a good idea. Leaving it at one by default is fine. Unsafe blocks, basically, these are the blocks it's going to check for. It's not going to TP players to these areas if this is the block it's TPing them to. You can add in as many as you want here. However, this is the default. You might add in, for example, 
water if you wanted to, but overall, leaving that the same is going to be perfectly fine usually. That's what we've done. We've never had any issues. Time expiry unsafe. So if a warp is unsafe, for example, you can click on it twice or do that warp twice to go to that unsafe warp within a certain amount of time. By default, it's three seconds. However, you can disable this with negative one. That's what we're going to do. Protect boost visits. So player warps has the ability to show you the amount of visits that a player has come to a warp, right? You can set this to false, meaning every time that warp is used by a player over and over again, it'll count it or set it to true, meaning it only counts once per player. I would recommend leaving that as true because it is pretty easy to boost it up if you don't have that on. Teleport weight. So this is what I was talking about, how we don't have a teleport delay on breakdown path. For us, it's set to negative one. However, by default, it is set to three. So after you select a teleport, you'll have three seconds that you'll need to stand still, not move, before it teleports you away. A lot of times that can be good, if, especially if you have like paying for player warps enabled. Particle teleport, if you want particles and stuff running on like every time a player teleports and stuff, you can do that. I would not recommend doing that. To me, particles, things like that aren't worth it. Same thing with sound here. It can be cool to turn on sound and have a sound play whenever a teleport is done. However, I would just leave that as false as well. Now, this is what I thought we were at earlier, and basically this means that if someone teleports, uses a player warp on your server, it's going to take $5 from them. You could set this to 500, 5,000, you could set it to one, or you could disable it by setting it to negative one. And we're gonna disable that. Now again, up here is where you, the price to set a warp. So if you wanted to make like the server take money to set a warp, you could set that to amount to do that. However, this is teleporting to a warp here. Now there is a warp description. You can set how many characters that is, 50 by default, that's probably pretty good. You can also convert player warps from other plugins. For example, my warp there, that is something that you can do if you're using my warp on a convert to player warps. Pretty cool, but not something that we're covering here. Now, down here at the bottom is the last little step, and this is basically what kind of plugins you want to use player warps with. If you want it to hook into plot squared, you would change that to true. World Guard, change that to true. A Skyblock, change that to true. And Grief Prevention, change that to true. Basically, what that means is if you have Grief Prevention support, you'll only be able to set warps in Grief Prevention areas that you are trusted in. Same thing with a Skyblock, you'll only be able to set them on your island. Plot Squared, only in your plotted areas. And World Guard, I believe, means you, for the most part, can't set warps in a world guard region right so you can't set warps in that world guard region like a spawn region for example so yeah there you go that is a complete overview of this config go ahead and save it here and we can go ahead and launch into game i'm just going to direct connect to this local server we have over here that way we don't have to worry about chat and things like that on breakdown craft now you will notice some errors here that's fine that's actually not coming from uh player warps that is coming from some other stuff basically where this is a converted world and all of those things and that's the first time someone join in to said converted world however let's go ahead and um get player warps rocking and rolling here what is this oh this is an old let's play world i used to have that's pretty cool anyway nevertheless let's go ahead and do a slash p warp so if we open up this the gui is empty we can do a slash p warp set home right like so and now if we do a slash p warp there it is if you want to see all of the pwarp commands, you can do slash pwarp help in game. And if we want to reload the plugin, we can do slash pwarp reload, right like so, and it will reload. As you can see, it is loading the warps, loading the GUI, and reloading basically everything there. Now we can go ahead and do things like set a description. So to do that, you do pwarp description, set, and then the warp you want to set it for, which is home. And this is a player warp description to describe this warp. There we go, and oh, my name is longer than 50 characters, so this is a player warp description. Oh, I'm getting hit by something. Um, slash time set, oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, there we go, there is that. Now, if we go in here and we do slash p warp, right like so, we can see that this says, this is a player warp description under descriptions. You can also see it's been visited no times, and we can click home to teleport to it. So if we click to it, it teleports us here. And if we go back to player warps here, we'll be able to visit and see that that has been visited one time. All right, like so. Pretty cool stuff. And if we go back to P-Warp, we'll see that the warp is still there. The description is still there. It is all working and it is all good. Even shows the location of the warp there. So pretty awesome stuff. Pretty fun and quick and easy plugin. Now, if we do P-Warp help here, we can see how to add more player warps to a player. So you can do slash P-Warp amount to see how many player warps you have. So if we do slash P-Warp amount, which I think I'm going to have unlimited, right? No, we have one max warp. Oh yeah, so I have a, a max of unlimited because I, well, am opt on this. However, if we want to do slash P-Warp add warps we can add them to me and then we can add as many as we want we want a thousand as you can see i have max warps not going to work but nevertheless you can add warps using that command p warp add warps and then username and then the amount of warps that can be good to sell them on a store for example a you know server store as well as just being able to add them in game and things so again you can check them with slash p warp amount you can add them with slash p warp add warps player and then the amount there 
and then you can do slash p warp list to list all of the current warps in game without the GUI. That can be helpful if, let's say, there was a GUI issue or something. There shouldn't be, but if there was, that's how that can be helpful. And yeah, that is basically an overview of this entire plugin. If you do have any questions or any issues or want to know more commands, you can check them out here, but I think we've went over them all at this point. Everything has been covered, and that is a complete guide to player warps. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and I am more than willing to help you out in things like that. So yeah, please come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been the Breakdown, and I'm out. Pace. Hello everyone, sorry, 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 sorry. I know the, the video was already outro there, but I did realize something that I wanted to show you. So we come back over here to our player warps, we can open the language.yml file, and in here you'll actually be able to change all of the text and things that the player warps plugin is telling you. So that is something that I do wanna do wanna change or do wanna tell you that you can change here, and I think it's pretty important. I just wanted to tag it on at the end. It's not a huge thing, but it is one of those things that it is good to know that you can change all that stuff, and I do like to see plugins allowing you to do that. So um yeah, there's that. Go ahead, enjoy your player warps. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.